Chris Brown, James Morrison, the truth. Uh, <laughs> you, I mean, you know James longer than anybody, back going all the way back to, to Middlesbrough at times. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's been in my life a, a lot longer than I would have liked to be totally honest. But uh, no, I'd, as you say, I've known him since he was since he was a young lad, fifteen, coming through. I was a full, I was full time at Middlesbrough, and he was in his last year at school. Whether he went to school or not, it's beyond me. Like uh, I'm not sure on that one. But uh, no, he, obviously the, it was under 17s and 19s then, and the, the under 17s were the fir- first year full time lads, and and the, it was made up with uh, the school boys coming in, and that was the first time I ever come across him. And, we sort of stuck around ever since. Did you get him to clean your boots? No, he never cleaned my boots. It was probably more likely the other way around. To be fair, he was a golden boy at Middlesbrough, and I was the one getting bombed out. So, uh, no, he was. Um, he was. Uh, he hasn't changed much. To be fair, in, in the fifteen years or so I've known him, like he's uh, he's always been a confident boy. Like he just gets on with it. Uh, and obviously, we all know what a good footballer he is. And oh, he's he's been good. And obviously, the two of us moved here at a similar time as well. And. Uh, you know, he helped us, you know, both of us sort of settled in. We didn't know too many people at the time when we first came down, so that probably helped us with both of us knowing each other and obviously our families as well. Both both got uh, kids now, so, you know, we all live locally and we, we get on well. And, you know, it's sort of, you would never thought that 15 years ago when I, when I first played with him. When he first came here, he was uh, he was very popular with Tony Mowbray. Tony loved him, didn't he? Yeah, he was a, I think they I think they played each other in the FA Cup the year before at um, Middlesbrough. And yeah, Tony, obviously Tony, Tony really liked him, and you, know, you and you can see why he's, he's a good player. And so obviously the way Tony wanted to play the, the game as well, he, he suited us down to the ground. And well, that season we had a we had a terrific midfield. It was you know it was hard to get into it at some st- sometimes, and you know, with with the the ability we had and the, the talent we had, especially in the in the championship as well. You know we were expected to do really well. And, we had goals from all of the team and, and creating chances from all of the team and you know, it was it was a good season to join the club it was it was an enjoyable season as well and you know he he must have fitted right into that. I mean he, he made his name here pretty quickly and, and got established in the team. Then he had that that injury problem uh, with the the Di Matteo season. He's a nightmare when he's injured, isn't he? Yeah, he's a nightmare when he's not injured. But uh, yeah, especially when he's injured, he's he's difficult to deal with I'm sure the, the physios would be glad to see the back of him after that one and you know obviously he's been he was out for a while last season with his hamstring as well and oh, he's had obviously he's had his, his share of, of problem injury problems like obviously those two are two two nasty ones that he's had to deal with and to be fair to me both times when he came back he came back made sure he was fit and he, he got back in the team and he and he's done well like, like he has done this year and I know that last one was a few years ago now but we well, missed out on the long slog of the championship that year. He was, you know, every uh, every cloud is a silver lining, I suppose, for him. He didn't have to, he didn't have to slog through the forty-six games to get us back in the Premier League, and he just took all the glory coming and playing the Premier League. He's followed you to the uh, to the three hundred games now. He scored a scored a fair few goals as well. And they're, they're always uh, they're always spectacular, James Morrison goals. Yeah, he, he does. He always nicks in with the goal. He, you know, he scores an awful lot of headers as well for somebody who's only five foot five or whatever he is. You know, he's. Um, he always he always pops up with goals. It's, that's that's a good part of his game. He's he's a clever player. He gets in the times his runs into the box well, and you know, as you say, he's capable of of scoring goals from outside the box as well. We've seen plenty of those too. I mean, seriously though, I mean, uh, you know, you've been here for ten years. The, the pair of you now. I mean, that that must make for a good relationship on and off the pitch, having somebody that close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously, we you get on well. We get on well with each other. He's you know he knows me. I know him. I know. You probably know when to stay away from each other and when to when to have a go at each other as well. I think even in games and training and stuff, you know, if the two of us, you know, you, you never see eye to eye on everything. You can have arguments and stuff like that, but you know, as you say, we've got a decent enough relationship. You just get on with it, and you just nothing's ever held against each other. You just you move on, and I think that's probably a big part of the the sort of group of lads that have been here for for a long time. You can know when to you know when to dig each other out and when to when to encourage each other and help each other along. And, that's uh, that's that's boded well for us, you know. We've we've done well because of it. Going to management together, he could be the new Clough and Tyler. <laughs> I don't know whether he's got the he's got the patience for management. The James, to be fair, he's uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. Was my assistant? They're not. I'd definitely be the one in charge. Like, he has calmed down a little bit, though, hasn't he? I mean, I think he he, he said to to me a couple of years ago, he, he made a conscious decision not to let things get on top of him and just to enjoy it a bit more. I don't know. Like I still can push his buttons when I need to. It's um, 
No, it, it, to be fair, he probably has, but that, that's probably with age. You, you sort of mellow with age. I mean, I, like I think anybody would tell you here that I'm probably one of the worst for moaning about stuff like that. But you know, you don't let it affect you as you as you go on. Everybody loves a good moan. He's no different than anybody else. You know, he moans. He'd probably say I'm worse, but I don't know. He's up there definitely. Like, but um, you just get on with it, don't you? You've seen so many things. We've been here a long time. You sort of know the way things are going to pan out eventually, and. You just deal with it as as they come, and you can never get too far ahead of yourself, or never get never get too high, or never get too low. I know it's a, it's obviously an old cliche, but you know, I think the way we are at West Brom, that's that's definitely the best way to best outcome to to look at things. I think. And so three hundred games now. Um, he's been here forever, but I mean, I think there's still plenty in the tank, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. He's um, he's done really well since he's come back from his injury. Obviously, he's had a bit of a layoff. Maybe give him a bit of t- bit of rest that he needed. You know, he's played a lot of games over the last few years, and he's uh, he's worked hard in his fitness. And you know, since he's got back in the team, he's been great. He's back to his old self, scoring goals, and you know, he gives you that sort of he's that sort of link between midfield and forwards that that's you know it's a, you know obviously people pay a lot of money for players like that, and it's 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 a difficult sort of void to fill. And you know, he's he's done it consistently consistently over the last eight ten years. He's he's been one of the best players. I've played with definitely, and you know he's um, he always just keeps coming up with the goods. You know, even when you know sometimes I think when you know, we've all experienced it when you you've been at the club for for a while, you people tend to sort of write you off and just take you for granted. And I think he's he he's definitely he's definitely proved that over the last few years. And what an important player for this football club he is.